Hello and welcome back to SirKentSaid.com. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's sweet, right? Um, it dawns on me that this is the last weekend of Black History Month, so I wanted to keep it black centric and talk about a few things that are near and dear to me. But first, let's start off with one fact that people need to know more about. This beautiful bastard, Michael B. Jordan, um, has been cast to play a key role in the live action adaptation of Rainbow Six. That is pretty kick ass. Now if we can get him as a black Superman. Uh, life would be good. I mean, you don't have to pad the suit. I mean, look at the best. Hey, come on. Um, leading into today's subject, did you guys know that Michelle Nichols, a horror, was fourth in line to uh, to captain the Enterprise in the original series? So that means if something huh? ever to happen to Spock, Kirk, and Chekhov, we were going to have our first black female captain in space. Fact. Too bad it didn't happen back then, but uh, we all know why it was. Which also brings me to um, today's subject. Star Trek debuted back in September 1966 on the 8th in Renfrew, um three seasons. There have been seven spinoff series and 13 films all together. I wanted to focus on two guys who don't receive enough credit. One being my boy Michael Dorn or Worf if you're nasty who has from 1987 to 2002 starred in the most 277 episodes and five films. God damn! That's a lot of goddamn work. Um, I felt like I needed to talk to you guys about him and the next person. Um, Mr. LeVar Bort, uh, Burton or Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge who while only appearing in 28 episodes during his run has the record for directing more episodes than anybody else in the original cast or any of the cast. Um, when Worf first appeared on The Next Generation, Worf and um, LaForge, they had a lukewarm reception because even back in the days of um, the next generation, you still had a group of people who were not crazy about seeing a black guy lay hands all the time in control of all the guns on the bridge and a black blind guy uh, fixing the ship. And so, as it first started out, that first season, their their characters got a little bit of hate. But I think through their quiet strength and grace and their off-screen contributions to society as a whole and as that world, that, that fan base grew, um, they were able to overcome that and become... pivotal to the series as a whole and I'm glad to see that they are both being featured in this last episode of Picard um, it's a statement on how things come full circle because the girl that plays the navigation officer on the bridge right now happens to be um, LeVar Burton's real life daughter which is cool as fuck. So that's that's one reason to watch the episode or this season because that's really cool. But yeah, I cannot speak enough of the good that LeVar Burton has done with such things as like uh, Reading Railroad, 
which has inspired millions of people to the simple act of reading to their kids or letting, letting them know or keeping the written word and reading um, in the foreground because it is important. Even in this digital age, it is still important. Um, yeah, I just want to talk about those two people really quick on the last weekend of uh, Black History Month. Tell you some of the facts about them and tell you how they have inspired millions of people of color to reach for the stars. And I think that's important because sci-fi programs like this inspire real people to go out and chase their stars. And I think that's important. So that's it. I hope you did something positive for uh, Black History Month and I'll see you on the other side.